Does Shigaraki beat Stars and Stripes? Well, short answer, Shigaraki unquestionably low diff Stars and Stripes. But the long answer, well, just sit back, relax, and let's hop right into the video. So not to burst anyone's bubble, but I truly believe Stars and Stripes does not stand a chance against Shigaraki. It's kind of disappointing because she has literally just been introduced to the story and immediately we have her facing off versus the baddest man in the show. So let's talk Shigaraki's new abilities. So he has power absorption where he can take other people's quirks minus Deku's. He has added life force, infrared vision, air manipulation, regeneration, and even more. But his most powerful quirk and obviously one of my favorite in the series is Shigaraki's original quirk of decay and this quirk has already grown exponentially able to destroy literal cities with just his touch. Mind you, this is one individual with all these quirks, and that individual happens to be the central antagonist of the show, molded by the Demon King himself within All for One. Shigaraki literally is embodying Black Air Force energy. He is casually flying on a Nomu, geeked out, ready to end Stars and Stripes' whole existence. With him facing off versus Stars and Stripes, the best case scenario is that Stars and Stripes can injure him enough to delay the three-day full awakening. The worst case scenario is we see Shigaraki defeat Star and take her quirk, making him even more powerful which is all for one's end objective. I don't mean to undersell her potential. In fact, I think she's incredibly strong. All for One even mentions that she is one of the greatest obstacles to his objectives. Clearly she's super strong and as mentioned, far more than a nuisance. But this is the end game villain. Shigaraki and All for One aren't going to be defeated by a new hero. What I kind of fear is that Stars and Stripes as a character serves what Lady Nagant did for Deku, a character for Shigaraki to fight to demonstrate his newfound strength and abilities and show that he is truly worthy of the crown of the League of Villains. Another trend of manga in general is the notion of self-reliance, and I feel a heroine from the USA or any country, mind you, coming to save the day would go against this notion of self-reliance on the heroes of Japan and the UA students we've had so much development with all these hundreds of chapters. All for One also mentions his plans for his friends to stir up trouble with the other respective countries, forcing the heroes to weigh their own priorities of protecting their countries and keeping their heroes localized, which leads me to believe that Japan will be left to itself for the most part. Although we don't really know Stars and Stripes' abilities, Super Strength is really easy to speculate, but I read some theories on Reddit that perhaps her ability is gravity related as she's able to stand upon a moving jet with seemingly ease. If so, that would be absolutely amazing to see a hero with a gravity related quirk. It kind of makes me think of Fujitora from One Piece with his Devil Fruit, but I really do hope that it's not Super Strength as that's so easily predictable and everything someone would expect from one of All Might's mentees. Let's say as a reader, you're like, hmm, maybe Stars and Stripes can beat him due to wits. Sugar Shigaraki, as stated in this chapter, doesn't even know if he's Shigaraki or All for One, and as we know, All for One can have direct control over his mind to communicate with him. All for One in chapter 329 mentions that he's planned to head for a long life. He knows exactly what opponents could come before him and his goals, and he's absolutely prepared. Shigaraki with All for One's genuine brilliance on his side is no match for anyone besides All Might himself. We know sure as hell Deku will need All Might's brain to defeat All for One as this story continually pushes closer to an end. So what I speculate for this next chapter, perhaps two chapters, is going to be a fight with Shigaraki and Stars. Fighting midair will be absolutely brilliant to see, but at the end of the day, I really do think that Star is going to be defeated. Although she could perhaps have some help from Endeavor, Hawks, and Best Genus, so perhaps Shigaraki won't be able to steal her quirk, which would be perfect for the heroes. Because like All for One said, if they steal her quirk, it is literally going to be easy mode for the rest of the series. Guys, I know this video was pretty short, but let me just tell you, Shigaraki low diffs stars and stripes, no question. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more anime and manga related videos, please don't forget to let me know in the comment section below what kind of videos you want to see. And additionally, drop a subscription if you haven't already. We're really close to 500 subs, and I'll be so damn stoked once we hit 500. So guys, as always, be greedier, and I'll catch you all next time.